So everybody, one of the lovely, lovely subscribers sent me this link. This is so important that we fill this out. Even if you haven't actually used homeopathic and organic things yourself, this is to save our rights for everybody to take them. Now, one of the other subscribers that I really adore, his name is Kevin. He kept sending me these links about homeopathic and organic doctors that were killed and murdered. And it kept coming and coming. And I kept going, what is happening? This was about, well, it was, I don't know how many were last year, but the year before it was immense. They were killing doctors, everybody, because they didn't want natural cures for people because that goes against big pharma and genocide and, and new world order and everything. So what they did was they were taking out these doctors. And it was one of the most devastating chapters that, of all these awful things that we had to go through. And you just sit in your bed at night and go, what? Why? Are you kidding me? And it's really that scary. So here's what's even scarier. Homeopathic things have been around, I don't know how long, a long, long time, because people have believed in them like since herbs and things. And I know that's a really long time ago. What they're trying to do now is have the FDA make homeopathic products illegal. So they've passed a draft, everybody. Now here's the link, and I want to. Sh I'm going to walk everybody through how to put in a comment against this. And everybody should do this, even if you have medication. Everyone else has a right to not. They, in other words, if I'm on heart medication because I'm really ill, I would still want to wish for everyone else that they tried everything short of medication first and see if they can cure things with natural herbs and whatever. That is a human right. But what they are still trying to do on the side is push this agenda. So what they did, I read this whole thing. It's a very long article, and they're trying to make, with the F Food and Drug Administration, they're trying to make every homeopathic thing almost inaccessible and scare people out of using it. So this is the draft, and you can read what they've done here. They're trying to make, they're saying, you know, there's products with safety concerns, and they may have ingredients, and they may be, you know, put, they're using strange language, significant safety concerns. People have been using this forever. This should be the labels on prescriptions, not on homeopathic. And, you know, not homeopathic isn't going to work for every condition, but people have a right to try everything first and graduate themselves up to what they need medically. But to try to take this right away is my skin is on fire. I'm like, yeah, but thank goodness somebody sent me this because they asked me what it meant and I read it and I'm like, whoa. So here is the first part of the article, okay? And then it says down here, read the full article. So then I went over to read and I read this whole thing and again, it's just them trying to, here's your big drug company, trying to push all of this. And they're giving people just a little bit of time until March to even know about this. And, and under normal conditions, the mainstream media should be telling people this. This is from January 30th. I really don't know when they started this, but they're talking about the Food and Drug Administration takes aim at homeopathic remedies. And then they're talking all about the money and what an industry it is when people cure themselves homeopathically, which is all the money they lose from big pharma. So it says down here, they declare the drugs illegal. They plan to ramp up enforcement actions. And what they're doing, again, is trying to just deter people from doing a natural course and using anything homeopathic to see if it works. And so they're trying to penalize this whole industry because it takes away from people like this company and anyone connected with Big Pharma when people go and use all these natural things. So they targeted everything in two, 2016, 
but they've drafted this memo that they're trying to push through. And then they're explaining about how homeopathy works and whatever, and, and why you spend your money that way. And then you don't need to go to the doctor and certain conditions, everybody, you must go to the doctor in the hospital. This is for people that would just, you know, have things that they figure they can cure homeopathically. Everything can't be cured that way. So you do have to weigh it out. This is just a, a you know, a basic thing that we have a right to have the option to try it if that's what we believe in, rather than at, ha, being forced to go to a doctor and have them tell us. So they're cracking down on natural substances to protect big pharma. Okay. And then in the bottom, uh, where does it say you can comment? Oh, it says down here, post your comment. And I already went and posted mine. Oh, shoot. I didn't sign. Hmm. I didn't have to sign in to comment. I'm sorry. I'm on a different computer because that other little computer I have doesn't, um, whatever. I don't know. So if you have to sign in, you sign in and then you just put your name and your comment. And I commented. So let's see if it shows yet. Um, it might be by date or whatever, or they might have to review them first. Let me see newest. Cause I just did mine. Hmm. Okay, so on two wing eighteen. So they must have to approve them and stuff first, because I just put mine through. I wish I had been on this computer and I could have um, put it in here. But anyways, everybody should fill out a comment because you have until March twentieth to comment. And what I just simply said, the Food and Drug Administration shouldn't be trying to scare people that people should be allowed to um, choose this if they want to. And there's been homeopathy ever since I can remember. People were using it, and I'm sure it was used on me. My mother probably just didn't even call it that. But what I stated is that it's a scam, and it's, it's ridiculous to try to take down an industry just because they don't get a chunk of it. We have a right to choose. And so anybody can use the language that they want and just state that, um, they shouldn't be trying to scare people out of homeopathic remedies and natural remedies. And we have a right to make a decision and a choice about what happens to our bodies. And the medical field makes plenty of money. They don't need to destroy homeopathy and natural cures so that people don't have a choice and have to take medicine. Because what's going to end up happening is a lot of people are going to end up not wanting to take anything because they don't want to go that other route. So there needs to be that middle route, which is our choice to choose what we want to do and only go to the doctor if it's like an emergency or we're really, really sick and we can't fix it ourselves. But this stuff is crazy that they're still trying to, to do things that are so drastic and dangerous and to try to make anything illegal that's you know, that's like saying a vegetable is illegal. Some of these things are just vegetables and herbs and spices and roots. And I mean, that just gives them way too much power. And so we all need to fight and they're keeping it kind of secret, but I don't know that it's going to pass. It's just in the rough draft form, but the more comments they have, the better. So everybody should just fill that out. And I will put this link in the blog and inside the video so that everybody can find it. Good luck, everybody, and fight for all our rights. I told you they're still coming after us, and they're still trying to not let us be free or healthy. And this is a huge, huge problem. Thank you. And thank you for who sent this to me. All right.